In this video, I'm going to be bringing you guys my first ever Madden 23 gameplay, talking about what's going on in my head whenever I play Madden 23 and why I like the plays that I like, why I do what I do. Uh, hopefully this is helpful to you. Uh, I got a lot of requests to do a little bit more gameplay. We are, we are going to potentially do some more streaming as well. Uh, so make sure that you're subbed to the channel. That way you get access to those. Uh, we're playing uh, my man, Tiny Cyclone. I totally missed a kick on my first drive. So um, I'm literally the world's worst field goal kicker. I'm probably never kicking a field goal again just because I can't kick field goals. I don't know why. Uh, I just have always sucked at field goals. <laughs> um, anyways, so uh, as you can see here, going to run my big nickel over G defense. On offense, I'm running trips. Uh, tight end. I got ebooks on both of those already out. If you guys want to get those ebooks, the links to those are in the description. You get everything by being a Patreon member. And the cool part about the Patreon, it's only $10. Like literally for just 10 bucks, you're going to get access to everything um, that we have over there. So really excited about that. Make sure you sign up for that if you want to get access to that. All right, here. So a little third and long. I've been kind of sitting in palms. And I got to tell you, I love palms this year. Except when that happens. Um, I love cover four palms this year. I think it's one of the best match. I think it's the best match coverage by far. Um, but I also think that it's one of the most versatile defenses uh, at the start of the year. And it really kind of takes advantage of the really good pass rush that we have in Madden 23. So that's kind of one of the many reasons why I like Big Nickel Over G. One of the things I did want to say about my Big Nickel Over G ebook that I haven't had a chance to say uh, to you guys yet because we just released it. We broke down in the Big Nickel Over G. The Big Nickel Over G formation is the only formation in this game that has all of the match coverages that you want to be able to have access to. And we went ahead and broke down how all those match coverages work in Madden 23. So you're not just getting a Big Nickel Over G guide and kind of the specifics of that defense, but you'll also be getting access to uh, basically an entire ebook on match coverage, which is really, uh, I think, just a great deal. Let me see if I can fit that in or out in. I certainly can. This guy's going to be running man coverage like all game long. So I'm going to go to a little bit of, I'm going to go a little bit more of a man beating style of offense here. I'm just trying to get some quick reads here. Use that tight end. I have to tell you the tight end in route, the tight end drag route, the tight end post. Those are three really good routes this year for man to man. Um, you know, when people are playing trips, they're going to run man. That's going to be something you're going to need to have in your arsenal. You need to be able to hit that quick drag or that quick in route or the post um, to the tight end. I'm actually working on another ebook too right now for you guys offensively. Um, like I said, Patreon members get access to everything. So, um, and on the cool part about our ebooks, what I love about the way we do ebooks, they update. So you get all, you get all the uh, all the all the updates uh, to that as well. All right, so here I'm going to try a route combo. It's kind of messing around with this X spot. I'm just trying to see what he's about. Um, if he's going to go to that tight end corner, and he totally did, and I totally had the post and the tight end wide open. Man, you just get screamed at this year, so you got to be on your got to be on your toes for sure. I'm gonna go to a little bit more of like a short yardage kind of man beating play. Uh, see if see how this plays, and I'm gonna take my pivot route, try to get up field and get myself. What did I get like 12 yards on a pivot route? Nice. So third and seven here, and um, I'm trying to think what I want to what I want to do here. I think I'm actually gonna go honestly go back to that play. Um, pa shot post with the tight end in route and i love this little s post i think it's one of the most underrated routes in the game this year Let's see what we're getting he's kind of doing some weird stuff with his coverage um and there you see the power of the aggressive catch um if you ever if it ever looks shady like that where they might have a step or they're kind of in there please aggressive catch it and a lot of times stuff like that happens in this year's game so it's just a, a way to kind of help yourself out a little bit i guess but Anyways, here we're going to PA counter go. It's my favorite red zone play. Just simple slant flat. And then I've got the tight end on the out. And let me see if I can cut that off. Get in for six. And again, one of the things about Madden 23 that I actually really like is the windows are tighter. So they're going to have like slight separation. They may not have a ton of separation, but they might have like slight separation. As you saw right there, my tight end had some slight separation. So I was able to basically cut the ball off and make a play on that on the last two routes. Um, so, you know, you see here, he gets a little bit more separation, but um, I think that's something that's really important. You got to understand this isn't Madden 23, they're not, or Madden 22, they're not going to be wide open. Uh, they're going, you're going to have to fit the ball into tight windows. You're going to have to make user catches to help yourself. Um, and you're going to have to work on offense, which I'm actually really excited about uh, because I think that um, it just makes for a more fun game. You're going to get a lot more innovation on the offensive side of the ball this way. All right, so Gun Bunch. I honestly have not seen a lot of Gun Bunch. I've been kind of surprised, uh, but 
Really excited to showcase this bunch D. I really like this bunch defense. Uh, we'll see if it bags here. And there's a dropped pick um, or a swatted pick, even though I was totally trying to hit play ball, but whatever. All right, so tight slots. I actually have a really, really good way to run match uh, against compression. And we break that down in the ebook. And I really, really like how it works. Right there, it didn't work at all. My guy totally didn't do his job, unfortunately. Uh, but that is what it is. Make sure I'm in match coverage, just to double check here, but I'm pretty sure I am. But in the ebook, we break down how to defend bunch in compression sets. I think you're gonna see a lot more gun tight this year than we've seen in years past. Um, it's always been a really good formation in Madden, but I think this year more than ever, it's gonna be a really good formation. So just kind of something to kind of be on the lookout for. And you see here, just this palms coverage is, and, and again, I'm obviously making adjustments, and and but I really like how this plays this year. I, I really think cover four palms, you can sit in this, you can adjust out of it this year better than you've probably ever been able to. The match coverage zones, um, when you adjust match coverage in years past, if you adjusted certain things, it really could very well potentially hurt your match coverage. In this year's game, uh, I just find that it doesn't hurt it as bad. And so I think that that's also something that I really value about this year's game is the fact that the defense kind of like actually works together. So here, I'm just going to see if he's going to still be in man. Um, and it does look like he is going to do that. I'm just going to take a sack and I can't, I, I should have probably thrown it away, but like, please don't throw picks. Like throwing an interception in this game, in my opinion, is like a really, really bad proposition. I'd rather take four sacks in a row or throw the ball away then throw a pick in this year's game. So just kind of something to think about. And there is Jalen Waddle hitting him on that little man beating post out of PA slot corner. I love that route this year, as you can see. Uh, just gets really good separation. So yeah, he's literally just gonna play man covers the entire game. And you're, what you're finding a lot online right now is that's basically what people are doing. They just come out, they play man to man. And if you can beat man to man, you got a pretty good chance. Um, and that was terrible, I was throwing the ball. Um, if you can be, that's like the exact thing you don't want to do. You don't want to take a sack like that. Uh, but if you can beat man to man, you have a pretty good chance this year at, you know, making some noise. So anyways, I'm going to go to drive post. I really like this play. Uh, hopefully I don't look like a fool for running it. Uh, cause he is blitzing me out of this, but that in route right there, I really like that route against man. And I probably shouldn't have called that timeout right there, but that's all right. So here, honestly, like three points, I feel pretty good. I think I get the ball at halftime at, at half. So I'm going to run verticals and kind of see what he's going to give me. I'm trying to hit my running back get up to about 31 yard line. I'm going to try to kick a field goal. I got to tell you, I suck at field goals and my kicker sucks too. So let me put Let me see if I can put in my punter um, at kicker. Let's see. Yeah, I could totally miss this field goal, but I'll try to make it for you guys. So nice, I got five mile an hour wind. See if I can hit this. And I didn't. <laughs> I literally can't kick a field goal. I gotta I always have to get the best kicker because I cannot hit a field goal to save my life in this game. I literally I've always struggled with kicking field goals. So it's eleven to zero in my book, but whatever. <laughs> We're gonna get back on defense, play our play our coverages, and let it work for us. What I like about the match coverage is it it adapts to your route. So the routes he puts on the field, it will adapt to them. And so as you see right there, um, there he's going to get me. He might get me actually right here. Let's see. No, I got caught up to it. I should have clicked on. I thought I thought he had a step. Um, yeah, but you could. That's one of the things I really like about match coverage is the fact that the routes um, or the formation itself adapts to the routes that they're going to put on the field. So you see here. He's going to try to throw it again, see if we can get it. And I really hope that we don't get in field goal range. <laughs> so I miss another one. Can I take this all the way back? I think I might be able to. Denzel Ward is slow. And I'm going to have to kick another field goal. you got to be kidding me. All right, so we got to make this. <laughs> we got to make this one. Um, let's see if we can please make a field goal. Perfectly timed. Get it in there. Boom, we made a kick. All right, perfect. <laughs> I, I'm i so thankful that I made that kick. I, I was literally 0 for 2 for this game. So, um, All right, so going into the second half, uh, we do get we do get ball. I, I really want to stress this in, this in this breakdown. Madden 23 is a game where you have to make the most of your possessions and you have to be patient on offense. And so it's really important 
that I, on this drive, don't try to just bomb him for a touchdown, right? I mean, I, I might be able to do that, but, but um, you know, I want to, like, be patient with my reads, be patient with my routes, and take what the defense gives me because I have a two-possession lead. I am in the I'm in the driver's seat of this game. I can beat myself though if I'm not careful. So that's kind of my mindset going into the second half here. And I'm gonna go with a kind of an interest. I'm gonna try this out. We'll see if this works. Um, I'm actually gonna mesh these guys underneath. So I got double drags here, just some quick reads. And we're gonna throw right as user. As I said, I can't throw a pick, but not too bad. See there, 11 for 12. And again, it's just it's just taking what the defense is giving you. My favorite man beater in this game right now is the PA slot corner. I really love this play um, with the little pivot route that I have right here. You'll see this pivot route, um, and then I have that slant coming in behind it, and then I've also got the post that he has to use her over the top. So it's just a lot for him to have to deal with in one play. I'm really kind of surprised that he is literally going to stay in man coverage. Um, right here, I'm going to try a running back out route just. Because I want to see if I can get this open against man. This route, um, I last year you wanted to kind of like rat catch the route. I kind of think in this year's game, this route is still decent against man to man, but you want to let the computer catch it um, because he will kind of give you that little animation where he gets a step on his defender. So that's just something to kind of think about uh, if you're if you're running to to mess with those kind of routes. All right, so PA slot corner seems to be the perfect play call for this guy's defense, at least the way he's running it right now. So we're going to hit him with it again here. Kind of see. And the post is open. And nice. Okay, so just continuing to kind of matriculate the ball down the field. Um, let's see here. I'm kind of wanting to throw a corner out to the right. So I think I'm going to go to X spot here. I just don't like kind of like messing with his user as much as I feel like I have been. So let's see what we're going to do here. We're going to go seam streak. We're going to go with a little pivot route. Kind of go with a little five out here. See if I can hit this corner route. There it is. And that's kind of the beauty of X-Bot this year. X-Bot is, is one of the best routes in the game for the post when you motion over, but it's also a really good corner route this year. If he's not respecting that against man-to-man, -man, it can certainly beat man-to-man -man this year. Um, I know it didn't beat man earlier, but it certainly can. So I really like X-Bot a lot. Um, doubles in sale is okay. PA slot corner is not the best man beating route, uh, but I really do like uh, X-Spot. I'm going to run it again, actually. Let's see if I can hit this corner route to the side. Nope, I'm going to throw a pick. I'm going to get a pick two, ain't I? Dang it. Yeah, so I shouldn't have thrown that. <laughs> I thought he was, I was kind of assuming, it's kind of a blind read. I was kind of trying to see if he was a man, if that could beat man on the goal line. But I think he called a cover three right there, and it didn't work out for me. So give him two points, which is exactly what you should never do when you're up 17-0. to zero, Because now, instead of being up three possessions, I'm only up two possessions. So there's that. <laughs> but I am kind of scared to kick field goals. All right, so back on the defensive side of the ball. I'm, I'm going to probably blitz him a little bit this drive, just kind of see how he handles the, the pressure. Um, I really like the big nickel over G for a lot of reasons, but one of the reasons I like it so much is the pressure that you can create from this formation, especially if they are going to run some kind of compression set like this guy's running. So a little compression set. There you see there's that crazy, crazy, crazy edge blitz. And uh, just really nice little defense. Um, the other thing I like about Big Nickel over G, cover two is not really that great this year. Um, I'm actually going to turn my match coverage off because I actually do like, if I'm going to play spot drop zone, I actually really like the soft squats. So I'm going to play a little spot drop zone here, just kind of see how he handles the pressure. Um, and there we go. Blocking is tied in. I'm going to throw some pick. I'm going to drop it. But I will say the soft squats, if you turn your zone coverage off, I find they play really, really good. Um, I really do find, uh, I really do find that they play really, really good this year. All right, so going to try to play a little chess with him because he's coming out in this gun tight wide off weak, and he's got his tight end on the left or on the right. We're going to send a pressure here off of the right, and we're going to roll um, our coverage. I really like this little blitz, weak safety blitz three. Um, it's one of our blitzes in the ebook, and he ends up blocking his running back, but he ends up throwing right into us again. 
And you see how the coverage is really good this year. And this is going to force the issue uh, from this. And you know what? For a last play here, we're going to go with a man-to-man -man play or a man-to-man -man coverage that I really like. Um, this weak safety blitz one. And I really like this coverage. We'll see if, how it works. Just a simple cover one rat. Got pressure, five-man pressure. And we're going to be able to bag it up. So pretty good defense there. Uh, so, you know, palms, we ran some spot drop. We ran some man. And you saw that all of it worked fairly well for us. And I think defense this year is, is back. I mean, it's not perfect, but it is good. Um, you know, and it's not – you don't just have to run man-to-man, -man, uh, I think, to be good on defense this year. All right, so I'm going to go to P shot pose, kind of see, and he is definitely going to get out of man. And Rodgers just wound up like crazy right there. I had that post wide open. Um, I was kind of anticipating he might get out of man, and he's going to go to zone. Now, trip side in is really good against zone. Um, like, it's really good against zone. It's okay against man. and it, I mean, it can beat man, but – I really would rather play zone. <laughs> like, if you're going to play zone against trips, like, that is – that's good for me. All right, so I kind of think he's going to be sending some pressure here, so I'm going to just kind of block my running back, see if I can pick it up. Um, and I'm going to throw right into him. Dang it. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. For some reason, I thought that corner route was going to be open there. I should have mm, – it's a bad route combo by me, and I ended up paying the price for it. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go to my favorite pressure just to kind of like force the issue a little bit. He's going to go to bunch. Um, when they go to bunch, I really like this blitz because they basically are going to – you're going to force them to block their running back. And they can't block their tight end. And as you can see, it's, it's trouble. Um, it's trouble. It's just a simple double edge pressure that we created out of this formation. Uh, I really like this blitz against bunch because the deep half uh, zone actually plays really, really well. And you see, I mean, that's just a really good coverage. Uh, just a real simple coverage right there at a big nickel. Love this blitz against Bunch. And if he's not going to, like, devote a player to picking up this double-edge pressure, I can probably run this the rest of the game and be okay. Um, you're going to see just how effective the double-edge pressure is, and we're just going to scream at him all game. And as you can see, I mean, the pressure is just screaming. Now, the beauty of big nickel over G is the fact that everything looks the same. I think that's one of the real benefits of the defense, the fact that we can – Literally make it look almost identical with everything that we do. If we're sending double edge, if we're sending match coverage, if we're sending a max coverage defense, I think, by and large, it will look the same regardless of what we do. So I'm going to show you kind of a fun little spot drop coverage that I like out of this um, out of this set. And we're only going to send three. And um, I'm just going to show you kind of the basics of, you know, just a shed defense out of this that I really like as well. Again, we break down all the setups in detail in the Patreon, so make sure to – um join that but here you go little little uh little little tampa three and i love this vert hooks are matching all over the place you've got this nice coverage and you got great shed d as well so nice little bag and uh, we're playing pretty decent defense this game and we're not we, we really haven't ran a lot of man uh we really haven't we've only ran man a, a little bit okay so um let's see here kind of situation um, I am going to run kind of a little, uh, little little spacing route combo here. Kind of take my zig route on that sideline there. Love that route this year against zone. Um, I don't love curl routes this year, I must say. I, I really don't love curl routes. I really would rather hitch and zig concepts um, because curl routes to me, they just don't seem to be super effective um, against zone. Let's see if I can fit that in that tight window. That was a very tight window, but we are able to fit that slant in. And uh, kind of seal the deal on this ball game. Uh, again, if you want to get our offense, the link is in the description. If you want to get our defense, the link's in the description. You get everything by becoming a Patreon member. Everything by becoming a Patreon member. Ten bucks gets you access to all of our stuff. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the breakdown. Let me know if you want to see more gameplays on the channel. I can always post these. I uh, play this game a lot, so I've got a lot of gameplay. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.